Hello and welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video we're talking crosswind landings. I'll show you how to get it on the ground whether in the largest or smallest aircraft in our fleet. Before we hop in the left seat let's talk about the two types of crosswind landing techniques, the crab method and the wing low method. The crab method is the technique of choice for airliners but can be used by general aviation aircraft with a great deal of practice. Using the crab method you'll crab or turn the nose of the aircraft into the wind on final which prevents drifting to the left or right of centerline. Just moments before touchdown, you step on the rudder to align straight down the runway while simultaneously lowering the wing to prevent drifting into the wind. Timing the kick out is tricky, but this method is quite forgiving in an airliner. The second method is the wing low method, which is preferred in light general aviation aircraft. You'll fly all the way down final using rudder to line up your nose with the runway center line and using aileron to lower your wing to correct for wind drift. If you think about it, the wing low method is exactly what you do moments before touchdown with the crab method, except for establishing this flight profile all the way down final. It's time to put these to the test starting with the crab method. On final in my Boeing 737-900 I've used rudder to point the nose of the aircraft into the wind. This allows me to hold centerline on my final approach while keeping my wings level. Just moments before touchdown I'll kick in my rudder to bring the nose straight down the runway centerline while simultaneously lowering my left wing into or towards the wind. As you can see, my wheels touch down one at a time beginning with the upwind wheel, downwind wheel, then nose gear. Once down, you'll want to use rudder to hold centerline and continue to turn your ailerons more and more into the wind as you slow down to keep the upwind wing from lifting. Don't worry too much about greasing your landings in a crosswind. The time spent floating just feet above the runway can allow the wind to drift you left or right of the runway centerline. Just focus on technique and nailing that touchdown zone. Let's move on to the wing low method. We're on final in the TBM, and we've used the rudder to point the nose of the aircraft straight down the runway. Once this happens, the wind will want to drift us well to the left, which I'll combat by lowering the right wing into the wind. It may feel a bit awkward at first since you're using cross controls to stay straight, but we'll hold this all the way down final. Once over the threshold, I'll pull the throttle to idle, begin my flare, and keep my upwind wing dipped into the wind with my nose straight. As you lose speed, your control surfaces do become less effective, so increasing the rudder and aileron inputs just moments before touchdown may be required. As my gears touch down in the same order as before, I'll again use rudder to roll out straight down the runway, while increasingly turning my device into the wind for maximum aileron deflection as I slow down. One important note with this method is to relax the rudder input just before the nose gear touches to avoid your aircraft veering off the runway due to the increased rudder we were using in the flare. Thank you all for joining me today. If you found this helpful, please like the video, drop us a comment down below, and be sure you subscribe to the channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for everything Infinite Flight. I'll see you next time.